today we're going to do a television slash film review and the, film, the TV show that we're going to review today is Only Fools and Horses, an episode called The Russians Are Coming. Now in this episode we meet, we meet Dell and Rodney that have just left an auction and they're going to go and see one of the lots that they've bought which um, Dell knows about and Rodney doesn't and uh, Don, Rodney's a bit shocked to see that they're going to see a big pile of rubble and rocks and um, things like that until uh, Dell explains to Rodney that um, the place where they are used to build prefabricated structures so garden sheds, allotment sheds um, playhouses for children in your back garden you know, other little structures that you, you, you could make yourself and um, so that's all under, it's all underneath in boxes underneath all this rubble and stones and rocks so Dan and Rodney s secretly get it into the back of the van and drive it back to the flat now, when they've got all of the uh, all of the boxes back to the flat, Rodney opens one and finds the instructions about how to make one of these prefabricated structures. And you find out it's a nuclear fallout shelter that you can make yourself. And Dell starts to think that we can, you can make profit out of this. You know, that you we've only bought the rocks and the stones and things like that, they didn't realise there was things underneath it. So you can make more profit out of the shelters than you would have just out of the ordinary rocks. So, but then Rodney thinks, well no, how about in the present climate there was uh, issues about the Cold War happening and Russia using nuclear explosions and things like that. And Rodney was worried about that, so he thought, well, no, why don't we keep the nuclear fallout shelter, build it, and use it if anything ever happens. And um, Rod uh, Dell thinks that's a stupid idea, but goes along with it. And then they go off and they, uh, they go off and build it on Grandad's allotment. And uh, then you're thinking, well, look, you know, we need to test it out to see how, if we can get from our flat to the shelter, if we ever hear the four minute warning. And so they think, OK, well, look, how about this? Um, let's time ourselves. So, OK, so next time you see them is you see Del, Rodney and Grandad running out of the flat down to outside the locker flats, getting into the van and driving off like Joe Knighty. And then, so, and all the time, Rodney's got the clock watch in his hand and he's he's keeping an eye to say, oh, no, look, you know, this is how far away it is to where we are and all that sort of stuff, and it's all a bit worrying. And then they get stopped by a local police sergeant who Dell knows. And they have a bit of a joke and a bit of a laugh. And then um, the sergeant asks about a list of things that Dell thinks, oh, that they must have been nicked recently. He probably thinks that I'm trying to sell them, all that sort of stuff. But no, we uh, it's a, another little joke for us at home to say that this is what that sergeant wants because him and, him and his wife are going away on a holiday and they want to look good for their holidays. And then once the police officers drive off, uh, we find out that they, they, they died about 30 seconds ago, but um, so it was a bit of a waste of time then trying to do it. So when they get back to the flat, um, actually, you know, this, um, before that, Grandad makes a suggestion, well, why don't we move it to somewhere closer? And then when we get back to the flat, we realise what's happened is they've they moved it to the top floor on the roof of the block of flats. 
and um, that's where they are. They and they spend a night in this um, do-it-yourself nuclear fallout shelter, and they've got all their all the stuff that we need. They've got the sofas. They've got the bed. They've got some tin food. They've got some bottles of water. They've got some um, alcohol. And it's all about trying to kind of like iron out all the uh, all the problems that might happen if they were going to be in there for a long period of time. And yeah, so it's um, and obviously then you you see the idea of three men living in very close proximity to one another, getting on each other's nerves, having a bit of an argument, and then this is that's the end of the episode. So, um, for this episode of Only Falls and Horses, The Russians Are Coming, I'm going to give it a number, uh, a number four. So, uh, thank you very much, and I shall see you next week. Goodbye.